in Wales tonight who will be sympathising with Pontypool in the loss of David Bishop. His talents will be badly missed now he's gone north to Hull Kingston Rovers for £100,000. But it was inevitable. He gained just one cap in a try-scoring international debut against Australia four years ago. Then came his court case and suspended jail sentence, followed by an 11-month ban by the WRU. No, no sign of forgiveness since then. How much did this help to push him towards the league game? Well, quite a lot, actually, uh, after the, the year suspension I had. And uh, last year I played the best rugby of my life and uh, just totally ignored me. And, and especially what happened to out in New Zealand. I mean, Wales are not a force to be reckoned with anymore. And Welsh, getting my Welsh cap just didn't mean anything to me anymore. I mean, uh, I would have been, if, if I would have played for Wales this year, I should have been playing three or four years ago when, you know, I was right in my peak. But as I'm uh, sort of coming to the end of my peak, if you like, uh, I thought I deserved caps uh, going back two, three years ago, up until now. And after the New Zealand, uh, I just, there was just nothing there for me. Obviously, he was at the centre of some notoriety a few years ago uh, following his court appearance. Did you have any qualms about taking him on? None at all, no. Uh, I think he'll do his speaking on the field. Nevertheless, he's a man who has a, a criminal record for violence on a rugby field. Do you have any worries about that? No, I think it's all in the past. It's in the transition. and We have no worries that way. Well, after the debacle in New Zealand, what would you say to people who might uh, suggest that uh, you're... Uh, you know, rat leaving a sinking ship. Well, good, because I wasn't on board the ship to start, and I got no time for uh, those people uh, who think I'm leaving a sinking ship. They knew I would, uh, I would, I would die in the play for my country and everything. So it's not a case of that. It's a, a case of taking up a new challenge, uh, playing a man's game. Now I think, uh, like I was saying earlier, there's court cases going on every five minutes now in rugby down in Wales. Uh, everyone is moaning about and groaning about bumps and knocks. And I want to come up here and uh, face the challenge. It's a bit of a gamble, though, isn't it? I mean, rugby union players have turned out to be a bad bet uh, in some teams. Yes, probably so. But we've we've done our homework on David. We've taken opinions from people, and we think the transition will be a natural one for him. The way he plays rugby union. You've publicly come out against the selectors. What's uh, what's your message to them as you start a new career up here? Well, they've got rid of them, most of them, uh, which is a good thing. They've got a good man in Jeff Squire and Buck Ryan. Uh, in fact, Buck Ryan's the only proven coach to, to have taken the Welsh team over, and also the not only non-international. And I'd like to wish uh, John all the best and Jeff, because they're two men. If there will be a difference, they will make a difference. They won't go on reputations. They'll certainly pick players who are on form, you know, and that, that's what the game's about, picking players who are playing well. I'm not play players who sort of play three or four games in a season and go out to the World Cup and go out to New Zealand after playing a handful of games and going on reputation only. I know you're a great friend of Mark Ring, who's yeah. just gone back to Cardiff. Uh, any connection between Mark going back to Cardiff and, uh, and you coming up here? Well, it was, yes, really. He asked me uh, what my intentions were, and I said, I think if everything is right, I'll be going to uh, Hawkins and Rovers. And Mark, in the first place, only left Cardiff to come play with me. And so he went back to Cardiff. Finally, how much are they paying for you? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you one thing, I think the WRU paid half the fee just to get me out of Wales. <laughs> yes, I suppose they might have chipped in for his train fare. Anyway, all the best to David Bishop.